What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy you can make your diet when you include little snacks, little things to fill in the gaps between your bigger meals. When you start a diet, you're trying to lose weight and build muscle, it's not about eating just chicken, rice, and broccoli for every meal. It's really about making sure you're eating the right amount of calories in a day and finding a way that is best for you, most enjoyable for you, to do this whole thing long term. So what I've done is I went to the store and I bought a ton of different food items that are gonna help you with your diet, whether that be snacks, whether that be dessert, whether that be cool, easy, easy two minute meal ideas, I'm telling you. If you walk away from this video and you haven't learned something, then I ain't doing my job right. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Come on. We actually got quite a bit to go over here. So what I think I'm gonna do is grab that camera right there and fly in first person mode. That way you can really see what I'm talking about. We can look at the nutrition labels and really break everything down. And keep in mind, some of this food doesn't necessarily have any protein in it, but there are certain strategies we can implement to fit it right into our diet. So I'm gonna explain it all. Let's fly, baby. All right, let's get this show started. Beginning with these fudge sickle, no sugar added fudge pops. What I love about these is you can have a fudge pop that's chocolatey, it tastes good, and it's only 40 calories. So if you have that craving that hits right before bed and you're about to blow your calories out for the day, you're about to binge and you're like, well, I need something sweet. Have one of these instead. It's going to hit those cravings and for 40 calories, you really can't beat it. Plus you get 18 of them in a pack. Next up, we have enlightened ice cream. Only 300 calories for an entire pint of ice cream and you're still getting 21 grams of protein. Not too bad. If you're getting high protein in the rest of your diet and you throw this in at night and you have those calories left, it's absolutely not going to derail your diet. Think about it. A pint of Ben and Jerry's is 1200 calories. So four Four of these equals one Ben and Jerry's and you're still getting way more protein and more fiber. Whole pint, 24 grams of fiber. And my favorite flavor, if you got some extra calories to play with, is definitely the brownies and cookie dough. Huge fan of this one right here. It's the closest to Ben and Jerry's you can get. You do get 100 more calories, but if you're budgeting them right and you're tracking, hey man, ain't gonna hurt. Plus you get that protein in there too. Next up, we got these Skinny Cow ice cream sandwiches. In my opinion, this is the holy grail of frozen treats. You get six to a pack and one ice cream sandwich is only 130 calories. Now we're only getting four grams of of protein and three grams of fiber, but still one massive ice cream sandwich for that type of calories, you really can't beat it. And keep in mind, I'm not telling you that your diet needs to have one of these in it every day, but if you have these at the house and you have that sudden urge and you don't have time to make a recipe or something, something like this, it really go a long way. Next up, we got fiber one bars. This is the cinnamon coffee cake, which is my favorite flavor of all. Only 70 calories for one of these things. Only three fat, 17 carb, six grams of fiber, two grams of protein, not too bad for a quick snack. And it's the type two, if you have kids or you have friends over or something and they want snacks, you can even do them good because if they reach for something like this and they learn to like this over like a candy bar or something, it's a win-win. Next up, we got original turkey jerky. This is just the store-bought brand and this is great in a pinch because in this entire container, there's 42 grams of protein, only three grams of fat, nine grams of carbs. That's literally a meal replacement. If you're on the go, you're at home and you want a snack, you can eat this just literally high in protein. It's going to help you towards your goal. This right here is great, turkey jerky. Next up, these little snack packs, they have 60 percent less fat, which drastically cuts down on those calories. 110 calories a bag. If you have that quick craving, or maybe you want to crumple these up and throw it on top of some popcorn or something, one of these little bags can go a long way. My favorite brand of all, though, which I need to get more, is the baked flaming hot Cheetos. Ooh, can't beat those. And next up, I couldn't add in snacks without adding in diet soda. My favorite diet soda of all time is A and W Zero Sugar Root Beer. Zero calories in this entire bottle, and I swear this tastes just like regular root beer. If you don't believe me, try it out. I really think you're gonna hop on board, Team Root. And I also have Diet Coke caffeine free as well. And that's the thing with Diet Root Beer, no caffeine either. So you can drink these late at night when those cravings get hit, it's gonna fill up your stomach and it's not gonna affect your sleep. Love it. Another thing we have here is a keto cereal. Now I'm not big on keto products, but sometimes you can find good ones that aren't too high in fat. So this here is a cinnamon toast cereal replacement. And if you look at the back, it's only 110 calories a serving, five grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, but nine of those are fiber and 11 grams of protein. This is one of the closest brands I've found that's actually like protein cereal that's not too high in calories. You can eat a bowl of this, literally fit it right into your diet and not feel like you're missing out on anything. But keep in mind, some of these products get a little expensive. I think this bag right here was literally $8.99. Not the best value, but in a pinch, a another great snack, sugar-free Jello, only 10 calories in one of these cups. It's also high volume for the calories. You eat four of these, that's 40 calories. And literally the macros on it, it has one gram of protein per. So that's 40 calories, four grams of protein. I mean, not, not the worst thing I've ever seen, man, if a craving hit. 
another thing I wanna bring to you guys' attention. Bird's Eye makes these awesome steam fresh bags that are filled with veggies and rice and things like that. These are great for sides. A lot of these are very high in protein. So like for example, if you take this power blend right here, California style, you have 350 calories for the whole thing, but 17 grams of protein. You throw six, eight ounces of chicken in there, that's a full meal and you're getting a lot of protein. You're getting a lot of those micros in there as well, along with 15 grams of fiber. You really can't beat it. So once again, we're talking about snacks here, but the idea is also convenient. So I wanna flip that on its head too. Like sometimes you need to make something really fast and things like this, as much as you might not consider that a snack, when it comes to whipping something up in a few minutes, one of these can be crucial. Cause I always recommend, regardless of what we're talking about here, cause regardless of how you incorporate any of these snacks, the idea is still to eat big meals throughout the day. Meals that fill you up, meals that satisfy you. These are just to fill in the gaps. You want a fudge sickle here. You want to save some calories one night for an ice cream. You want to have 130 calorie ice cream sandwich. You can do that. But I do recommend following the recipes on this channel, making things that you actually enjoy and not just leaning on these solely and making your entire diet this. Cause let me tell you, if you eat 2000 calories in just ice cream sandwiches and finish the day at 30 grams of protein, that's not optimal for building muscle or losing the body fat you want. You're more likely to burn that muscle off if you don't have enough protein. So keep that in mind. Some of these are supplemental, although some do have a decent amount of protein. All right, moving over here, we have rice cakes. Now let me show you. First off, we're gonna grab these lightly salted rice cakes. Now I understand rice cakes by themselves for some of you might not be very appetizing. I'm not the most massive fan myself, but they're 35 calories a piece and in a pinch, you can throw some of these in a bag or eat them on the couch and it's gonna help fill your stomach up with minimal calories. But if you are someone that wants flavor, these caramel rice cakes are really good and they're only 15 more calories a piece. So keep that in mind too. Moving over, I found this. I thought it was pretty cool. Flapjacked Mighty Muffin Can. You just add water, toss it in the microwave, 20 grams of protein, 240 calories. Not too bad in a pinch. You're traveling, throw some of these in your luggage. Midnight snack, add a little water, microwave, you're good. Then we also have a couple versions of chicken breast. This is canned chicken breast. So we're talking about here making meals quick. In this whole can, there's 36 grams of protein. You open this up, you microwave this, add that 36 to that 17, you get 43 grams of protein and a full nutritious meal already in a matter of minutes. And if cans freak you out, you can always buy bagged chicken breast as well. Comes in multiple ways. So like if you wanna take this on a plane with you and just eat chicken out of a bag, I mean, the option's there. Then another thing I wanna touch on is instant oatmeal, the lower sugar maple and brown sugar version. Now per serving, this actually has less calories than regular oatmeal, although it does have a little less fiber and a little less protein. For that trade-off, you're getting that maple and brown sugar flavor. This stuff really is excellent. You make this, you toss a scoop of whey protein in there with it, mix it up, you got yourself a quick, easy two minute meal. So if you don't like regular oatmeal, give that a shot, cause I'm telling you. Probably the best way to do it if you don't wanna doctor it up yourself. And it wouldn't be a snack video without throwing in, shout out to Dr. Greg, the Oval Redenbacher Smart Pop Popcorn. Huge bag of this, only 240 calories. You're getting eight grams of fiber, eight grams of protein, but the biggest benefit is that it is going to fill you up. Once again, you're watching a movie, you can either order a pizza, eat that on the couch, throw your diet off, or make a bag of popcorn, throw some of this ranch popcorn seasoning right on top, and I'm telling you, you're gonna be set. Then in the same vein as the chicken for quick, easy meals, we also have chicken creations. We got the chicken salad and we got the zesty lemon pepper. Each of these pouches is only 70 calories. So once again, you take this, got a little flavor on it, you spread it on top of a rice cake, you got a nice little high protein snack. And once again, if you're traveling, I always preach it, things in pouches that aren't gonna set off metal detectors, take these with you, throw a little fork in there and um, you can just literally eat it right out of the pack, man. Quick and easy. They also make these in tuna versions, but I've read some weird stuff about tuna and mercury and all that, it kind of has me freaked out. So I don't mess with it too much. So just keep that in mind if you wanna do tuna. I'm not saying it's gonna kill you. Lord knows we eat enough artificial sweeteners around here and all that junk. But I'm just saying, keep that in mind. Plus I think chicken's better anyways. Now moving over here, one of my favorite little individual yogurt brands is this Too Good brand. So in this entire canister here of strawberry, it's only 80 calories. You get 12 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, two grams of fat. And they actually taste pretty dang good. So I got strawberry here and we got this blueberry. Once again, quick, easy snack. Sometimes you're hungry. If you can just put a few calories in there between meals, it's gonna satisfy that urge and keep you moving. And then I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about protein bars. Now I got a selection here. I got some store-bought ones and then we got some Anna bars. Some people have a weird relationship with protein bars. They don't think they taste good. They think they're chalky. They don't really get much out of them. So to be honest with you guys, I've eaten everything from these types of bars all the way to the new Anna bars that I eat all the time. This is my new staple, but I can't knock these bars at all. So like this is a pure protein bar. In my opinion, they're a little small and they're 190 calories, but you're getting 20 grams of protein, quick, easy, efficient. Take it with you on a plane, do what you gotta do. Then we got the Quest Bars. This is an oatmeal chocolate chip, 190 calories. You're also getting 20 grams of protein. You got 23 grams of carbs there. And the benefit to these is they are loaded down with fiber. So you get 16 grams of fiber, 
fiber. It's gonna help you feel a little fuller. But in my opinion, with these types of bars, is that the flavor is lacking a little bit. Now, if you're not someone that's huge on flavor, these will do great for you. They really will. But if you want ultimate flavor, the Anna bars are really where it's at. It's like a hybrid between like a actual candy bar and a protein bar. So you're getting 21 grams of protein in each bar. And then depending on which one you grab, this one's only got 22 grams of carbs. We got 11 grams of fat, but the flavor is absolutely phenomenal. So if you're the type that really wants to enjoy what they're eating and you want to love it, check these out, man. Finalbossformance.com. Could RJF10 will save you 10%. I always have these on deck. This is one of the most convenient ways to just have something quick. All right, and then moving over to here, we have sugar-free popsicles. Now talk about something that's extremely low in calories, only 15 calories in a popsicle. That is literally nothing. You could sit and eat five of these if you had one of those intense cravings and you're really not doing that much damage. So don't sleep on this. This is also the same brand that makes these fudge pops. So keep in mind, look for the big yellow container. And then finally, one of the last things I wanna mention is this veggie pasta. It's the same brand as this steam fresh stuff, but what people don't understand about this is that if you flip it over, you are getting 390 calories, but you're still getting 20 grams of protein. So what you can do with this, microwave it, throw some chicken breast in there, make some 96% lean ground beef, bust a can open or a bag, toss it in, another quick and easy meal. All right, ladies and gents, I think that covers it. And keep in mind, all of these foods here are totally fine on a diet as long as you hit your calorie goal and your protein goal every single day. There's no food that's inherently gonna make you fat, no food that's inherently gonna make you skinny. That's not the way it works. It comes down to the amount of calories and protein you eat in a day. Everybody's a little different. How active are you? How much are you training? What are your stats? How tall are you? How much do you weigh? There's a variety of factors. If you go to tdeecalculator.net, you can get a good ballpark of what your total daily energy expenditure is. If you're trying to cut weight, remove 500 calories from that. That's gonna put you in about a pound a week deficit of weight loss as long as you're hitting those numbers and you're gonna be cruising right along. And like I said earlier, these types of foods are meant to be used to fill in the gaps in your diet. I don't recommend spending a whole day eating 2,000 calories in popsicles because that's not what it's all about. It's about eating high protein foods, things like your anabolic French toast, things like your anabolic pizzas, things like Oreo cheesecake bites that are loaded down with protein. If you're doing those things, you really can't lose. And keep in mind too, as much as this is all convenient, so is meal prepping. If you make some food in advance and you put it in a Tupperware container like this and you portion it out, those also end up being quick and easy meals. Half the battle is wrapping your brain around this entire process. You take the time on a Sunday night, you prep out a bunch of different meals, whether they're recipes from my channel or you're using my anabolic cookbook and you're making stuff straight out of there and you Tupperware those up and you have them ready, it can really go a long way with keeping you on your diet. And if you like the idea of having meals ready to go, filling it in with snacks and you want the ultimate cookbook in your pocket, check out the RGF anabolic cookbook link down below in my description, man. We got every recipe on this channel broken down into a guide that fits right in your pocket. You want to know what to weigh out, how many calories, the macros, the protein that's in everything, it's all in here. The goal is to make dieting a fun, enjoyable experience. Like I said, no food is inherently off limits. It's all about hitting your calorie and protein goals. So hit that link in my description if you want to check that out. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. If you got a cool idea from this video, what you could do for me is just hit that thumbs up button. Helps the channel out more than you know. Comment down below uh, what you want to see me make videos on, a recipe, a topic, anything, and I will get to it. And subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom.